Hello, today we're going to be looking at a critical piece of all credit unions operations, cybersecurity. This has been and will continue to be a hot topic for credit unions. So let's dive into key points your institution should know about cybersecurity, why credit unions are targeted, key threats to be aware of, and how to combat cyber attacks. First, let's talk about why credit unions are top targets for hackers. The ultimate goal of any cyber attack is to make money. The cyber attacker will use any means necessary to reach their end and get their funds. And credit unions are a prime candidate for easy access to financial accounts, credit cards, and even personal identifier information, or PII, that hackers can use to steal from individuals. PII can include social security number, date of birth, physical address, and more. And these things can all be used for the devious purpose of identity theft. That's when the threats come to life. And there are a few key types of cyber attacks that credit unions should be aware of. Phishing attacks are most commonly conducted through malicious emails. Usually, the emails contain a call to action involving the dissemination of personal information, such as account numbers or passwords. They may even contain links that install malware on your computer upon opening. Another form of phishing is vishing. Vishing is when a hacker tries to glean information over the phone. Again, the information is then used to hack an account or even your credit union's entire network, which means access to lots of accounts. In the most generic sense, malware means malicious software. In other words, a hacker can trick you into installing software on your credit union's workstations or even embed it themselves through some sort of vulnerability in your systems. Oftentimes, malware is used to steal information from the inside or even unleash a virus via a Trojan that will cause your systems to crash, leaving your institution vulnerable. Another category of malware is called ransomware, which has become more popular among hackers in recent years. Ransomware puts a lock on your credit union system until the hacker is paid a ransom to restore access. This is when credit union email domains are used by hackers to send spoof emails to your members, usually asking them to divulge private information that can be used to hack their accounts. As members trust their financial institutions, they are more likely to comply and give the information willingly, thinking it's your institution requesting it. Now this is not an all-inclusive list. The number of potential hacking schemes are endless with the extent that technology is used and people, businesses, and organizations rely more and more on the cyber world. Take the COVID-19 pandemic, for example. Although cyber attacks were prevalent before the pandemic, even more came to light when the world was in a panic. Cyber threats are really rooted in exploiting vulnerabilities of any kind. Whether it's an unprotected server at your credit union or a society full of people who are distracted by a new disease. So, let's see what a cyber attack in action may look like. Say an employee at your credit union uses their work email to make an online purchase. That email address is now on the list for the company that was purchased from. And if the company wants to make some additional money, they may sell their email list to an outside organization. And ready to purchase the email list is a hacker. And he plans to do some phishing email campaigns. That's how easy it is for cyber attacks to happen. It's a scary reality, but there are ways to help protect your credit union. So what steps can you take to protect your institution's information and integrity? Use strong passwords. Passwords are often the first line of defense in cybersecurity. Systems that are password protected are harder for hackers to get to, especially when you adhere to the rules of length and complexity. These rules essentially just make the password more elaborate and difficult for hackers to decipher. Longer passwords are recommended because more characters makes cracking the password more complicated. As for complexity, mixed characters and passphrases are encouraged. Mixed characters include the use of special characters, numbers, and letters, as well as a blend of capital and lowercase letters. A passphrase indicates a phrase rather than just a single word. So instead of this password, it might be this instead. Be vigilant in your security awareness training. It's a fact that humans are the weakest link when it comes to cyber crimes. That's why security training is so critical. The more aware your staff and your members are, the less likely they are to fall for cyber scams. The principle of least privilege. Since we know that human error is often the downfall when it comes to cybersecurity, utilizing the principle of least privilege is vital. This principle minimizes the amount of staff who have access to certain information and systems. For example, your collections team may need to use certain information tracking systems to complete their jobs, while your tellers do not. The fewer people that have access to a system, the fewer points of contact there will be for hackers. Implement security measures and best practices. 
Install firewalls to block bad sites. Apply patches and updates to your system as soon as they become available. Adjust audit findings quickly to minimize your vulnerabilities. Test your employees and amp up training if needed. There are lots of options for protective software and hardware that can help you address known vulnerabilities. The key to this is being proactive and staying on top of your technology and cyber procedures, whether through an internal risk and IT team or a trusted vendor. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. Credit unions can utilize any number of methods to ensure some level of cybersecurity. But the bottom line is this. Credit unions are at a risk of cyber attacks each and every day. But if you know why that is and what an attack may look like and how to reduce the likelihood of these attacks, you can reduce your risk. Thank you for joining us for this session on Cybersecurity Basics. Enjoy your day.